trials that are very very heavy very deep but underestimated that's what's good because when i want to just take it just deal just deal and just feel like i'm at i'm at i'm at doing the twist to get to Kajarata, anticipating Uti, if you ran to the bathroom and did not lock the gate, Uzo Chikwa, Chikelun Dabi Uti, Uli, you are letting Igebengu in. So you gotta just take that in your straddle, it's very uncomfortable, and do all that, and then you get to Frija Kohae, Oro Sefedile, and then how Oro Bula Bread Bin, Tweregetala. How number one, there's nothing that you can do. Twanso Emele Mewa, how you can decide to wait for your mom to get home to eat fresh bread, or you can just ride it out. You can just suck it up, little girl. Suck it up, little boy. Suck it up. Suck it up. That's what's good. What's what I'm going to coach Tom or coach Cassandra? I just some suck it up. Suck it up. Run, run, run. Do five, five, four, three, two push ups. Run around the field. I used to do drummies. Yeah. Our drum majorette coach was a slave driver. I just forcing you to do one more lap around the rugby field because you missed one step you would think Utlomuntulona is trying to kill you base camp I did not sign up for boot camp Engaga not base but boot camp Engaga kids go through boot camp and prepare to themselves Basats, they, they put they, they, they suck it up and they eat dry food the last remaining uh, Kellogg's because the sibling took it all rationing is ridiculous they have to be the ones to take it in their stride and particles that you don't know sucking it up they are always in fear factor taking the last marinzas of everybody but apparently they are spoiled mm. suck it up one more lap do five right now five four three push-ups up and down suck it up they gotta suck up take it in their stride the fact that stale 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 do you understand what i'm saying yeah including crust which kids absolutely hate still to this day mina unless of course a loaf of bread is brand spanking you fresh from out of the oven and you funny crust because the the thing about a freshly loaf ba loaf a freshly baked loaf of bread is that it's still crunchy so the crust is really delicious. Kabotoro, right? Mara ha only two days old nyana, one day old, it's a regular to the touch. I'm gonna have any crust. I still don't care for a crust. Ninja, right? Kids struggle to eat even the periphery, the periphery of borot or type setup thing. So to endure a young one through crust, a dry, over and above the rest, that's dry. Torch and fell. Suck it up! <laughs> has not eaten since lunch lunch is the thing because I mean I dog not quite killing it or maybe to me I feel it's a five in because you know brigile next map you walked in the blazing sun you are parched you are famished you deserve a buffet but all you gotta do all you have sorry Give a lot of wallet for sly and you gotta suck it up. Glotona, this little child, a tata, this like bread, a tatiling. Not yet any intensity, and then put these four little slices of bread on the kitchen counter. I did a sabotor. And then I get them more, okay, fine, at least he, honali cheese. At least he, honali paloni. At least he, honali mayonnaise. At least he, honali acha. So this kid will make like quite the prolific sandwich. And that's what makes it super, super sad as well. Have you ever had a sandwich that has got fillings in it that are here? They're delicious. Maraborotoba thingy. <laughs> Like papaya sabuzwa. It's like eating your papaya thing is a buzwa and gravy, the chicken, and we're not. How papaya sabuzwa, how you have to have dog. So it'll never tell, even when you've got nice gravy, nice spinach, nice cabbage, nice morocco, nice whatever, it will never give 
because at the end of the day it is the staple it is the main thing and it is the thing that brings a grandiose amount of enjoyment of food if at all your pup is not right now it's not gonna matter so too is the gravy not gonna matter and so too are the condiments not gonna matter so too are the veggies not gonna there ain't nothing gonna matter if at all the base yeah pizza it dry all the other little things that you put on there, eyes saw the dog like yo, laying in pizza, any errid, errid, the color of for pizza. Tava, but I was hungry, get like it's um, yeah. Eating old pizza feels like that. Eating a sandwich that has got beautiful fillings, got but with dry bread, is like that. You be out you eating it with sorrow in your face. Or Shabelatidi cartoon. Or whatever you're watching KTV or TV. Talk about it. KTV saying about it. Or be so Shabelatidi KTV. And there's like a, a low-key little trickle or tear down your your, your face. Unzo jabo on top of dry. Kaoro si esi yinte. Because they, there was only just one sip left. I care. Mm. And you are just be trying to remove the crusty crust. It's already super crusty. The 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 the, the periphery of Boroto. And so it's already dry on a on a normal day when it's fresh from the store shelf. Already you don't like it. Now it's like super dry and it's giving white. Eh? That's what's good. It white away now ta obona di white do white white table dry. Lanza way tosa. It comes off easily because it deal, I guess. It's like toast. It's <laughs> like toast the way it It's crunchy like toast, but it's not toasted. It's crunchy like freshly baked baked bread, but it's not freshly baked. It's crunchy precisely because it's old. It's not yet molded. So hayabola, but it's on its way out. It's on its way out, and you out here eating boroto that is making your cheese rubbish eating boroto that's making your lettuce nonsense eating boroto that's making your tomato sauce and your mayonnaise rubbish like everything else in the middle just does not matter mara otsweregetlala you gotta eat and so you eat sengwejeha ho got trickle of a tear down your face obe ofeze and then obo tsuarake itis hao kleta oruwale mosofeng until Udra, your older sibling from high school afita or until when out to herself for whatever happens or until mutadi wakha kwa fika ha mutadi afita busi yaz lavo parents you be out you're looking at plastiki yamaroto are fresh one of the loaves of which is warm from spa you can tell that it's numara who would say ha mutadi wakha kwa akutla kwa khaya o shebile plastiki ya boroto bo fresh and you like but why couldn't you just buy bread last night because you knew you knew you knew that you and and a sister were gonna go and make lunch and if there was not gonna be enough bread for me left for the afternoon you knew that i'm the first person to get home okay you knew that i needed a loaf of bread why didn't you buy bread the night before why did you skip a day without buying bread what's wrong with you you be out you're looking at your mom on some if only i had that loaf of bread that you came home with earlier i would have had me a nice little sandwich a homecoming celebration given that i had to trudge through the streets of johannesburg trying to get home in the desert sun given that i had to open the gate for 10 hours needing to pee and i still obeyed your rules and locked it properly given that i have to go through all that you would imagine mama that you would care enough care enough mama to at least leave me a decent loaf of bread at least leave me a decent loaf of bread for me to make myself a sandwich. Mama, you know you was miserly. You don't give me enough money to buy two, three, four hot dogs to fill my stomach. And you still don't buy bread until further notice? I see you. I see you. You look at your mom like that, but you can't complain because apparently why not complain? Mm. Or just take what, what, it, what it's given you in your stride. Mm. Y'all know what it's like, I get to go through all that only to be anti-climax eating. To go through the Kalahari and to be parched and to also be famished. And then miss your figures or you are like good like anti-climax. Kids would understand thoroughly how that whole game goes. Nina is I want to buy dal and yaguazi pizza at the end of a hard day's work. Or you know or limits with hayekin papa lena ma engwe e here, right? That's what's good. Uh, but kids, kids, every so often I endured through eating rubbish, but I sign up for it. And ever since losing umsemin swam, 
ever since basically being endured through all this level of nonsense in my life ever since experiencing all this why no maravelle this chick i i can understand why that is being done when you are out you're going to be dumping then let them land on your car um cigarette buds alongside masapo achikini because why like why why i get it i understand it there's a neighbor walking his dog out here those people that you can see in the background my sister and i understand i get it like littering like irresponsible really people like i'm just basically this world is just it needs to end we need to go home jesus come collect the body of christ like she deserves to have those bones put there because i mean how do you just nibble away at bones and then just throw them on the floor anyway whatever yeah y'all know the kind of anti-climax activity that happens when you get home after school however insights type establishment thing that's exactly what witchcraft is like these analogies god is the one that gives them to me he when when, when i was busy uh, um uh, moisturizing my face in the morning with my face routine and what have you the lord said their witchcraft is like eating dry old bread that's not yet moldy and also eating the biscuit it's a soft like eating soft biscuits it's an anti-climax it does not give you what you want it's written in god's word that every good and perfect gift is from above and is from the father of heavenly lights so when you are eating ugutla you expect to be satiated yeah mara when you are eating ugutla ugustel ganjalo after however going through like i said those bushes eh on all the black jacks eh? you've trashed through you needed to pee you had to go through like papa that you gotta unravel and then walk through drive through and then get to gate that you are busy messing kaskia for like 10,000 years to try and find this kia so we get it in so we get in and then you run to the toilet and then once you find relief right from whatever you imagine to be a blockage on your life when then you try to sit down and eat uguza finally ugyo pumula it's a disappointing meal it is a disappointing meal usatani cannot provide for nina the way that god can every good and perfect gift is from above and is from the father of heavenly lights you witches are exactly like the biscuit is soft have you ever encountered the biscuit to go go pantry in your house and they've been there for a minute right and you tell yourself really these modern day foods i didn't have expiration date like on the expiration date but they've been there for a minute get it romani cream or get it oreo or get it mari biscuit or get it all sorts or whatever they've been there for a minute and you tell yourself Fuguti, you is about to endure uh, to experience or enjoy a crunch when you go into it a best angel fella go soft go smooth when you when you break that mari biscuit into a bend it actually bends like literally the biscuit are just bending the way that it is so expired it has lost its crunch so it's not a biscuit anymore it's frankly a cookie it's just like a queen's cake now the queen's cake but a queen's cake is supposed to be soft to the bite it's supposed to be soft to the bite how we how how we not how you're not supposed to hear it you can eat a queen's cake in silence do you understand what i'm saying but you cannot be eating the romani creams in silence somebody gotta be out you hearing <laughs> in your mouth how often it's like mazimba hey lemas have you ever had vele vele mazimba ah damp anti-climax it loses its crunch or how i hope i stay live a mazimba i still loses its crunch and so you chew it in karaki chepi see and you don't even know what's along my first in total appeal the biscuit it's expired it's old this soft and carry even worse than a queen's cake you be out here chewing that thing and i hate a crunch there's no whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. it's an anti-climax food and if you swallow it you won't get sick okay so clancy okay so really food poisoning you'll be you you live you live that's what's good mara it's not what you signed up for it's like also using an expired product on the fmcg shelf yeah skincare hey eh? it starts to separate that's how you know 
It's not going to give you skin cancer. It's not going to mess you up in any way, any fashion. But I mean, really, a product that is expired and so its emulsifiers have gone off. And so therefore you start to see the separation of each individual ingredient on your hand. Yeah. It's not what you signed up for. It also lacks efficacy. So if it's a vitamin C serum, forget it. Especially considering that the vitamin C denatures so quickly, it's so unstable. You're just putting stuff on your face, but it's not doing what it's meant to do because it's been denatured. It has been expired and it has also separated its individual contents. It's not what you signed up for. It's not what you purchased. You wanted to buy a brightening serum, something to deal with hyperpigmentation, something to reverse the signs of aging, something to help with collagen production in your skin. That's why you bought it. But like if you're going to buy it expired and every when you open the tub, the can, whatever it is, whether it's a moisturizer or a serum, and it's no longer basically you have to now shake it up shake it up where before it came already emulsified it was just like that like the product was made like that it does not it does not say on the bottle shake before use but now you have to shake it before use it's lost its properties and though it it will not break you out into acne though it will not give you cloasma melasma or ochronosis though it will not give you skin cancer though it will not give you acne fungal acne though it will not give you a bad um, adverse reaction like an allergic reaction it might do nothing bottom line is that's the point it does nothing it achieves no real goal so the, the, the purpose for which you got it if at all you don't reach it why continue why continue you gotta throw that product out because biscuits are supposed to be crunchy whether or not they don't give you poor food poisoning is irrelevant they're supposed to be crunchy and when they're not they must be thrown away you should not wait for bread to be moldy for it to be finished off within the first two days because once it reaches the third day it's not moldy it is still edible it is not something that is essentially detrimental to your health but what's the point do you understand what i'm saying what's the point of eating three day old pizza what is the point of eating papa is a pehwanghandle? Without cooking it, it's not going to kill you because it's still a starch, however, unrefined by heat. It's not going to make you crazy. It's not going to make you sick, sorry. But it's not going to be a satisfactory eating experience. It's not going to be a satisfactory dining experience. Neither I has seen, nor ear heard, nor mind conceived the things which God has prepared for those who wait for Him. Delayed gratification. The Lord God Almighty said, Worship me, serve me, seek ye first me and my righteousness, and then everything else will be added to you. Mm. He said, Even the pagans need these things. I know what you need, yo. That's what's good. Serve me, however, and I'll give you everything else that you need. Maranela Jah. Instant gratification. When I was in varsity, I was once in varsity. I am clearly educated, but however, people are in denial took up a subject called economics and there was a concept in economics that has stuck to me ever since then uh, called the law of diminishing marginal returns the law of diminishing marginal returns essentially what that means is that oh well, when you add one single extra unit of something to an existing ecosystem the utility that you gain out of it or the satisfaction that you gain out of it it starts to diminish it dwindles my lecturer utilized eating a burger like eating when you're famished all right to explain this particular concept he said that the law of diminishing marginal returns operates like this like when you're super hungry and you go to mcdonald's and you buy a burger and you eat that first burger that you have is going to be super satisfying it's going to reach that goal it is going to hit that button it's going to hit that nerve okay you're going to be super duper satisfied but if you're still hungry and you insist on getting another burger you will still be satisfied with that second burger however not as satisfied as you were with the first burger from the first bite and then if you're still hungry and you insist on grabbing a third burger you will still gain satisfaction from the third burger but less satisfaction than you had from the first burger and less satisfaction that you had than you had from the second burger and so on and so forth so that by the time you continue such that if you continue to buy burgers you are then going to basically plateau in terms of your general satisfaction and if you continue even still you might even start to decline in terms of satisfaction because now you start to feel bilious so 
if it takes you five burgers to be completely satiated and fully satisfied you will have established a diminishing utility a diminishing satisfaction throughout <clears throat> sorry each individual burger <clears throat> that you consume and at the five fifth burger that's when you reach essentially equilibrium such that if you are to eat one extra burger you begin to plateau so it's a it's a plateauing curve you begin to plateau in your satisfaction but if you push further you are doing what is called throwing money into sunken costs if it for instance is uh, a project for how many units of a product to put on a store shelf if you put more than what is absolutely necessary at the height at the plateau people are going to ignore that product and you are therefore going to have a whole bunch of maverick spend like stock that is unutilized unspent you are going to experience spoilage wastage because of not appropriately uh, stocking your shelves a, 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 like a plethora of models are used financial models to determine how long to keep a product on on shelf and how many units to keep on there linear regression is one of them and this law of diminishing marginal returns is one of them to determine not only pricing but also units how many of them to put there and at which point to perhaps even consider sending stuff on sale type establishment thing so if you keep eating that burger if you keep eating that burger you're gonna vomit that's when it starts to plateau. That's when you start to lose money. That's when you start to make a loss. That's when you start to run at a disadvantage. Do you understand what I'm saying? So that not only are the diminishing marginal returns, the diminishing as, however, with increasing, uti no, not increasing, reduction in utility, but a diminishing reduction. So it is decreasing the, the utility, the satisfaction that you gain out of it is decreasing at an increasing rate. And when you hit a ceiling, that's when basically like gambling, when is no when to stop? stop investing in this thing otherwise it's a waste of money but if you don't stop you start to even plunge you start to decline you start to vomit where before you were famished super hungry so now as ravenous as you are you're eating when you are super full eating now becomes a waste a complete waste it becomes the act of gluttony when you are no longer hungry and witches you become gluttons eventually you operate in a law of diminishing marginal returns the first spell that you cast is extremely satiating extremely satisfactory the second one satisfactory but literally never as much as the first y'all can y'all can vouch for this those of y'all that have been involved in the occult for all of these years mm, you know that the first time that you got that job after basically consulting a little bit of a bab of a bab zungu a best at pimville you were like yo yes it is <laughs> And you were you were jubilant you were celebrating like no man's business happy like no man's business and then you were like aha aha i'm gonna use this for everything in my life now you then tell yourself that you're gonna use witchcraft for literally everything yeah but you see the reason why it takes on the curve or the shape of the, the the law of diminishing marginal returns with each new unit of witchcraft that you add is less and less satisfaction less and less utility the reason why that happens is because of the consequences of sorcery hmm? it's written in god's word that the wages of sin is death but the free gift of god is eternal life for them who are in christ jesus hallelujah amen first angela mm, yeah well sin has consequences I mean, you know what happened with Cain after killing his brother Abel, right? The guy had to be kicked out of his hometown. He was scared and asked God to protect. But the Lord was like, run, go, leave. You can't live with your parents anymore. So he lost his home field. He lost his household. He lost Abantubagibu. He lost family. And then he also had to go and endure strangers out there to a point of asking God, oh, I'm scared. And then the Lord protected him. Put a mark on his body so that anybody that comes at him will then get stricken dead and killed. Nobody could kill Cain, but he lost family there are consequences to sin we all know what happened with the bleating sheep of Saul. he lost his kinghood his anointing yeah uh we know what happened with joseph's brothers there were all those misfortunes in the middle of them finally getting to egypt and also the severity of guilt there are consequences to sin you know what happened in egypt with pharaoh and all those plagues that fell on the people um of egypt because they were holding fast to the people of god we know what happened with uh, with um the set traps and the administrators that Asher set daniel up for failure we know what happened to haman after setting up mordecai to be killed at the gallows we know 
that there are consequences to sin. We know what happened with Penina, who Archer was Archer deriding Hannah and Zamora said Zamuchika like gloating about the fact that she 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 got babies and Hannah is infertile and then Hannah was finally given a baby while Tulis or Penina. There are consequences to witchcraft. And these consequences are incremental, culminating at the height of final judgment of the witch if the witch does not repent. So you tend to feel the ramifications of your sorcery very early on. The other day, the Lord used a cost to benefit analysis to explain just how things go down in the kingdom of darkness. You with your soft biscuits and your bread that is stale, that you are nonetheless putting really beautiful condiments alongside fillers in the middle of Agnanda that you can create for yourself a beautiful toppings on a pizza if the crust is out here being dirty and dry you are dirty and dry you are eating an unsatisfactory meal okay and it does not immediately make you sick but ultimately it does kill you if you don't repent like a bad product that you keep on using on your face will at some point yield some pretty negative results so god gives you what is called grace he is slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love not willing that anybody should perish but that all should come to a knowledge of him so he suffers you long he suffers you long he waits for you to do a better thing but you all don't want to do a better thing so eventually you experience some pretty horrific outcomes the cost to benefit analysis or ratio of witchcraft is um frankly by a landslide more feeding into cost than benefit what do you gain versus in the midst of what you lose ultimately becomes what we call not worth it it's not worth it what you gain in comparison to what you lose is not worth it the relationships that you absolutely shatter that you decimate the people you break the guilt you feel the irreversible consequences of your actions the inability to revert back to the way things used to be and the fact that no matter how much witchcraft you use to try and fix what you did i said because it's always botching it's always botching you trash through a forest to get to where you want to get and when you finally eat it's not worth it going through sorcery one must absolutely admit otherwise they are in denial is the ten amount it's like indeed that analogy that i use it's not an analogy it's a true life story i went through all that right as a kid like walking home from school it's exactly like that experience right you are discomforted severely in you going through this dark method of getting what you want only for you to get a gift that ain't jack in comparison to what you hoped to get it's not comfortable i also consult this angoma to finally consult one to be in the premises of this granting woman gunuga imi see that you don't understand and it's dark and they're using bones and you can tell something about it is very ominous go uncomfortable to keep on being like yavuma yavuma or apere kwa kwa ya christian lubiton ekana una le mokopotso o mongwe expensive wa go dura apere a burberry coat you are an waiting arrived woman you are super freaking gentrified obu wa se go waka tweng mara you're sitting on some dirty mat on the floor granting in front of some women some woman or some man out your hand like dirty paraphernalia okay because their paraphernalia tends to be dirty the premises where they practice and then there's something satanic crossing through the air such that even if like boy titulo or gigi la main oh bottom line is edit sila and toyana lanza le gentrified jaka la toya machena bottom line is boloi ki satanism hutliye it is felt in the sky do you understand what i'm saying when you consult this angoma there's something very dark is going on there was a man back in the day by indeed he had a surname bab shongwani that my mom used to consult every so often at lakon jaka thing at lo tala din tonga nate snacks every time this man came uh na kwa la di khakde ni kontu even if it was broad daylight proper you would out be thinking because for him to do whatever he was doing and then he would start to grunt in a way that was very uncomfortable to take in one stride and then he would start to tell me see tell me all over the show apparently cleansing the house alongside alongside listen to this stink up the house with some funny smoke the thing that he was burning and that smell would linger for two three days before the house was aerated it was not the fragrant smell of jarada and kwa heso in ga bleach le pledge le perfume ma mewaka it was inedible nelentheo in ngampi i even now as i speak i can almost smell it 
the way no go ga ampe a teng ya hantate go tlongwa nang ka ta ofile o fita go tsara teng mara apparently and allegedly o na tlatswa ntlo a si ya mongko o mokana ke maswabi i love diffusers right um these um sticks that you buy from like at home or Cory Craft whatever like dina le perfume ka mogare and then they fragrance your house ding khisa ntle ha mona te jwang le bathroom and there's all these like beautiful flavor flavors like vanilla lavender chocolate ooh i love them and in my apartments i had like one in one in the kitchen one in the bathroom one in my bedroom i just had different beautiful aromas in the house there is something about scents that evidence evil or good right the lord made flowers which are these beautiful things that um pop they shoot they blossom they grace the earth with their glory he made them smell beautifully because fragrances evidence the glory of god do you know what i'm saying mm isn't there's no way i'm not the evidence of glory of god 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 is amazing he created all of these senses in our bodies eyes that see noses that smell mouths that can taste hands that can touch right and what have you such that we know what is good based on our senses and what is not good when f we know what to eat because of how it smells we know that a meal is good and our stomachs out gym grumble and we salivate pizza something you know the smell and even when it's rained oh one of my favorite smells personally hey that's what's good you know that smell of mud oh love it it's nature saying i've been watered and i'm about to bring forth crop do you understand but that which is not good to taste and not good to touch and is to be flushed and to be um d what do you call this to be disposed of it tends to smell like stuff in the bathroom has a stench not the uh, sorry uh, fecal matter urine has an ugly stench to it it does not smell like roses bad breath in the morning you know you got to brush your teeth halitosis whole bunch of bacteria you know that's the, it's cause to start to wash does be nyanka when all these food stuffs gather together that are about to be wasted they smell that is a god's internal alarm to let us know that something is not good it's not right it's when it smells bad like menor ianuga but roses smell beautifully they have a fragrance a scent that is pleasing to the nose similarly to Limonolum similarly to even with the mouth okay the lord god almighty almighty made that which is ed edible largely tasty largely largely edible things are tasty fruits and vegetable are tasty for vegetables of which are horrible unless they're cooked that's how we learned to cook vegetables because they only release their flavor when they are cooked and that's why we call them veggies whereas fruit can be eaten like that raw and they come from the tree sweet to the taste manna from heaven tasted like honey it was sweet like honey right because food is supposed to taste that way it's either savory or sweet or sour whatever but it uh, the, the plethora of taste that can come on your tongue tell you that this is here good to eat mara when something is not good to eat like if you bite into nama for instance that's been in the fridge for a few days and it starts to go off not only are you going to taste that it's offish to a point where you will spit it out but it'll also come through your nose you will be able to tell that nama is right and then put it to the side those are god's internal mechanisms to basically survive a human body to ascertain that we don't consume poison do you understand what i'm saying so when something smells horribly honey it cannot be good and then the premises study sang goma dyangha hampi they smell really super terrible and also when there's a lot of demonic presence um happening around in the room it tends to hung hasalfa otherwise known as umsuzo like fart methane and sulfur hadikopani those gases are of a putrefying something hellfire fire and brimstone sulfur is what it is that burned sodom down hellfire in has sulfur when there is a demonic presence in the room sometimes uzognugum suzo when there's nobody else that's released a bomb that's how you know there's an evil spirit in the room smells evidence goodness or lack thereof and if something smells sketch honey there is evil in it and witchcraft premises always stank so it's very excruciatingly uncomfortable do you understand what i'm trying to say at this particular juncture it's excruciatingly uncomfortable to consult the sangoma precisely because their premises not only stink but they're dark 
brightness is always associated with that with, with, with that with, with that with that which is good that's why human beings go to work during the day when it's bright and they come home at night to sleep largely throughout the night we are in sleep mode because human um uh, preservation and human thriving tends to only happen when the lights are on so the night comes and we hide in our houses we close ourselves behind closed doors and those who do evil deeds it is written indeed even in god's word do it in the darkness of night so the Sangoma, they like to close curtains, they like to operate in premises that have no windows and there is no aeration happening, no ventilation. Top of that, it's stank up in there. Impepo Ianuga, guys. Isage Ianuga. Ntotabuloi, Diangha and Dinham, they don't smell like roses and happy they use dead things like masapo ba madi. They also drench themselves in such blood. Their initiation practices, they have to eat raw food. When God said that, no one should be eating blood. Mm. They have to eat not raw food. What I wanted to say was raw meat. Drink goat's blood. Isn't it about the evidencing what there's something diabolical about it and there was a severity of disquiet even in how it is that it is so full of coercion it lets it got everything that heaven just isn't so it tends to be extremely uncomfortable to get to the point where you now finally have your job you now finally have your business tender you now finally have the wife you want you now find you have to trudge through the streets of this ugly hut the sang of my activity look grant when a Christian is algebraing, yo, it's a fragrance, it is sweet, it's moving, it's churning, gospel music is beautiful. Mara, music, what's that then? There's something about it that's giving cultic. It's an organized mess. The chaos. I need to pee one last time and then we're going to walk outside because it's getting dark. I realize I'm not that pressed to pee. I don't want to pee, not now, because when I leave these guys where it's on construction, in the general area where I have to go and grab a bucket, and it just makes me uncomfortable that they're going to know what I'm grabbing it for, so, yeah, life is rough right now. No, actually, because they're leaving, chances are they've put the toilet back in, because they put it in every night. <laughs> yes, our toilet goes back into its slot every night. I'm wearing a little Jackie 8, because we are your band. Nyana, it's giving tepid. Anyway, whatever. Yeah, look. Below, you put labor of your civil evident, guys. In that whole, whole dark. And then, and trust everybody's on Hadi didn't say. Hadi's one of these out here plants giving. Is it a daffodil? It's not a daffodil. Um, is it a daffodil? Uh, couldn't you ask the name of that plant? The ones that are called narcissus. Um, okay, is it a daffodil? Yeah, it's definitely not a dandelion. I think those are daffodils. Stand corrected. Whatever. But I mean, look at roses, look at chrysanthemums, look at sunflowers, look at all of these calla lilies, these plants all over the show. They're so cute, they're so fly. Uh, because they're God's glory. Top of that, they smell lovely. They smell lovely. And every so often, even the sap in the center that the bees get is sweet if you are brave enough to be out your like eating out of it. Because there is there is beautiful taste to that which is approved by God there is beautiful sound to that which is approved by God the music of heaven versus the grunting of sangomas like the noises they make the drums that they beat hey, hey, whoa, hey, hey, whoa, hey, hey, whoa. the stuff that goes down audibly too in the premises of Amasangoma is unseemly to the eye it's clamorous it's cantankerous it's not coherent it is not like a fluent orchestra do you understand what I'm saying mm. And so therefore, it's menacing. You should not be therefore going anywhere where it is that sounds are not giving heaven. When sounds are not giving uh, that which is delightfully approved by, by the sky, why are you out here doing it? Why? And then there's the stuff that you can taste, I made mention of that. And then of course there's the stuff that you can see too. In those premises. It's not, it, it tends to, to not be beautifully decorated. It's not the most ornate of environments. Haho cute. That's what I'm getting at. Haho cute. Haho honte. Like a beautiful neighborhood like mine. Okay? Ho snaxi. Utlatola di sango matana. Like for instance, take abola toya machene. A woman out here living in a generally decent home. Yet where it is that she's practicing. Ho humbe. It's just stuff that's hanging on the walls and it's like in incoherent and it, 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 you know, it doesn't have color scheme panache in the sense that like you can't understand what's with the mix of colors like 
Khokhombe, what's with the lack of uh, decorative um, je ne sais quoi? Like, the colors are not going to be a good thing. How do you feel? 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 Hutlolo ya South Africa e ka ofela go gompe mara ntlo ya motho o e tlhoka me o e tlhoka metseng o e tlhekileng o tsebang a thing or two about how to lay scatter cushions it's giving hallelujah it's giving heaven it's giving angels are singing it's giving God's glory do you understand y'all can tell what God's glory is by just simply looking at it tasting it seeing it hearing it that's why go go to Romans 1 hore hore ngeda you are without excuse guys you are without excuse yeah that's what's good when you reject jesus because of the fact that the invisible qualities of the lord are all over creation including for the sake of acquisition because apparently translates into the snacks to get ahead you have to do strange ugly snarks of things to get ahead and if these little strange ugly snarks of things and as well because you've made yourselves rejects so make like second timothy 2 and out here cause yourselves to be vessels of honor a blue to me mele ya lona le ntle le scrape it down no filing down no the cons le ntseng ntsela le lo reka antifungal dandruff shampoo ho lontsa scrap ho re nje fela le tlo ba batho ba bukekang se ke le bona cuz right now it's giving stench it's giving ill it's giving a cod deal it's giving what's the spell it's giving oh when is this going to end it's giving ill so ke kopa nje fela le tlo gena ntshotse snack se and do a different thing every day se ke le la bona Ibang Bapila, living by Navamorina Jessica Fela Halukopani, and stop doing odd, ominous things. So, just like that analogy that I made. It's not an analogy, it's a real life story. Me, I went through it, okay? Mm. Of me walking back from Koskolong, holding intense, holding Zim. Hojwalo, we are good in San Comenzalo. Hojwala, that's it. Highly comfortable, especially when I'm by Zang Bazalwan. You would never tell your colleague that you are on your way to a Sangoma. You would never tell your brother, your sister, that you are on your way to see a sangoma. You would never tell your uh, your boyfriend, your husband, your lover. Sangi of which you would then also never tell them that the reason why all the people are sangi sango is because oh, but the grandsha put dilaga and because kimo busy sisters who and ruling the whole dam. So Odo Maya Bell Blackenya High, Olo Estate na horo Odo la stele, Asha pe statue, Aska to brigo la statue lewe na because yena ke sofa la sana pega mina pela bring back lost lover. Nye gumche. Nye gumche le buti wifey. Nye bonu go to bizo prepare my divorce papers. Emma nye ne fela ke lo bonar babzungu kama mo rako dago best dago pinvili. Aki kuta. You ain't going nowhere. Just saying. <laughs> you would never tell them. I get a mara hase ke go bua on the roof for top or what how we lay go all night praying because you love righteousness eh? you've got a reputation for being alive even though you are dead you are like the sodian church that's what is written so you are sodian hase ke go everybody ka all night prayer that you are going to hey hase ke go announce a bulletin on a mountain top ka trompeta gele eh ha wena o loya go bible study celebration. YouTube channel. guys, I'm doing Christian content, Christian lifestyle, Christian clothing, and modesty. Hashtag, please follow me. Please follow me on my handle on Twitter. And this is my TikTok account. And really, I would really appreciate your support. How is something yana ya di fela tsa tsa 2 tsa 1 how lo confirm how e meme di di tshomisa ga go ka fela tsa high school una di 16 king hore ba tlo bona lo confirm had a friend of mine o ba mo confirm leng a re meme ga fela ba di 2 when i was in high school ke sa se bo confirmation ke re mara na ne ke le dana go le mona di go ka si go ja ivy was so it was always so much fun um cuz my mom moved to the burbs since ne ke le kwa di yang so really i was missing the car experience so every time i ne ke me ma go so it to ne ke ya da ke le so ke le so 
Niki ya kiki dula ke jaiva on sa mogo ba monate ka je ko nna ke dula ko di sa ba sengse prai tse borang so aba ngane ba ai be two me ba hlala eng khansi and every time they would remember us there i was going there on something ira gel eh so i went to two confirmations go khansi so wera and years later di chomisa teng a se ke go loya ke ntse ke le go ha maha bona nna ke tsa di he 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 jezebel only to find out hore ke bo jezebel le vela mm ha go mona mara bang memme a ke bang memme ba tla confirmation eng ke re ke ya ka batlo ba bina ka ofela ba le happy for me being 16 and confirmed as umzalwane Mzalani shwalani. I get have a reputation for being alive even though bad dead. Sorry in church. Habana maitseo. Baba have you get to go in the spirit. Marakam come on take a soho baba be like a ingi. Yo, panzoe mbulabantu. Mahadi, ma one foot step and guys be fainting. Mara despite uk fainti sama total extra tini. Ma ui satani. Nyempela deep down inside. Tonser lo faba na baba to the looking paraphernalia de e bugu. Horbato kobona grand chapur is one common pel. Horbato kobe na ka one shen for all. Bye bye lenja fila bahu bahu ambending. But I'll see you all high and dry because after all, I get all that done. Whenever it comes to Ntoza Mudimu, you are always communicating to the world that you're about to do it. Hey? Yeah. Ah, no, you must learn how to play in tongues. Last night I woke up at 3 a.m. Who? I felt the Holy Spirit calling me to do it. And I was just there and I was like, ah, shut on Taiperu. Who was shut up? And I pray. And I felt a loosening in the spirit. Eh? And it said, like God was telling me that somebody was about to get into a car accident. And because I stood in the gap, he's okay today. Even though I don't know him, I feel like I did something. Mara, I told you that if you woke up at 3 a.m., I think you were going to get into a car accident. Of course not. Of course not. Are you out here putting a status update on Facebook or uploading something on you know, go Twitter on threads, Instagram? Are you posting something just like that says hashtag glad that I caught my ex in your god Robert? Mm-mm. Marahai Baniwaka ba proposed Lingalo from Muna Omujisite. Or I will propose a boyfriend that thingy. Or no, we don't see me see trouble when I go marry me. Or just kill a girl. Cause we don't have to worry about what we're going to do. Or we don't need to be near me all day. Today, today, hey, today, today, you are going to marry me. Or I'm not allowed. Or don't worry. I'm not going to do seven years. It's too long. I would please blow. How can I propose a boy that thing? Yeah, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook. Kya lo zake rahao na blake mo strate nga so tlantse bang hore mudimu finally came through for you. Oh yeah me, you will literally go ulo uzwa pinaya la sauce. Le Amanda Black, uwa mak. Darling, delay, delay. Gifu na we na yetwa. I got this answer for you, my papers. I do gavu ma. O tabi na I do gavu ma I do. Ya la sauce. Le Amanda Black. Claiming her mudimu finally made you go so sorry, King uh, brought you and your man together. Then let Jordan the fornicator. You were laughing here in the streets all over the show. Grandpa, your relationship the Lord was making was saying, "Hore, so I'm on. I put you on the high right. The Lord and Grandpa, you need to get your act together because King Kabuloi. Hey, and only be so consulted the sangwa mau keta mo bongo pam sebezi girl. Please relax. Make like a flower." Kupabeli si raseka na uto kile tof tof. How kita obolonga boyfriend ya seven years? Omo fosti lengo ra aho ni ala kadi korobel. Hasta propose si mwana bato aile kostenze alorata aloraka time ni yan. Hanga mwana bato atoka wa American Swiss. Oboto binanya idu ni avu manya. Obo kudala mulindi le na ugela ulinda anga grandchild. Ono le impatient. Obo kwenye because seven years ifiti le na ono le shibile biological clock. Eh, obo sebe kisadi kwa. Mara ko Instagram, oto re God came through. Ko Facebook or mudimu Jesus, please would wait for the Lord, and you will say that you waited on the Lord. You will use scripture, yes, and then you will go through marriage counseling. Ko kere kere, wait, you guys, let's take a rubbish. You will go go for marriage counseling. Ko kere kere, listen to me, ko happy da. Ko kere kere, yalo na be wale juza hore. Seeing as you are getting married, it would be ideal if both of y'all. Move back to your parents' houses, or one of y'all move to your parents' houses, so you can be celibate at least two, three weeks before your wedding day, and that's as much as the church can do for you to ascertain that you're not fornicating, and you claim that is repentance when you have never ever truly given your lives over to God. Without even la pastor ya kona in recommendu guti, you must split and stop fornicating in the run up to the marriage. E pastor ya kona ya zuguti ike ichere ilisi guy. E pastor ya kona ya zuguti this chick made this man propose has no clue. 
and then you go for marriage counseling. It's on doing, guys. As in, I'm in my cell. Halena my cell. Halena my cell. Mara, marriage counseling a thing. Has to keep post online all the little quotes that they said at marriage counseling on Instagram. Go YouTube. If you're not a channel, you are going to share Jenny Aha when you are a little Maloi. Hey, go TikTok. Or turn on Twitter. The upload to the TikTok. Who look cute when a husband to be Aha. Lens a link. Got in a bag. Marriage counseling. And then all the little quotes. Lady Bear with some emotional music. Olympian girl, yeah, music, emotional music of which is supposed to turn people to feel all sentimental about the Baruanya, Labata, Barotabe, Ziguena, O sisters. Marasa Kuloya Munda, Munda. You are not going to put on TikTok, you are not going to put on YouTube or Facebook that Omuluile and that's why he's yours, and then go out here advising women. I'm on Nasabatoko Kuyana, do this, do that. Bye, Bamba, Loba to Baling Brazen, Bali Bold enough for Holo, Baga, but to Baloba Pecha go YouTube, Barry, Loya Munda, I have a novato, I do. But largely, Lipita Bazalwan, most of y'all are not at least as honest as those people who will say, Mini Dota Menga Funungi Chata, so this is what I did. Most people are back and honest. There are those that are brazen with their folly and they will share it on social media. But most of y'all, li pati, li clandestine, li secret, like you like secret socks, like it's very secret socks. Di go su tele, you would never know Romotu di Aber because Obona fella ankle engoya hoba deck instead of go su maramotu at one better go su li secret socks. Li that thing. Li pati gile. Mara, in broad daylight, you've got a reputation for being alive even though you are dead. So granted that activity like praying in tongues, waking up at 3 a.m. in the morning to pray for a person that's about to get in an accident and you waiting for your husband and finally getting married because you prayed to God, apparently, allegedly. Yeah. Seeing as you are so happy to share all that which Jesus Christ is doing for you, but the underhanded, shoddy, clandestine, satanic things that you do, something evidenting, evidencing. Hore, bosangoma, bofostomzo, boheshomze, bo insistence, mutasang patrikito munyadisa, bo jesomze, bo utofepwa nesta muli purity, because minangizog lisa, and it's liso sako sigu sizo genzu kutunga ahambi, unga pumila jaktin, and bo nuguti there is something about it that is inherently just absolutely taxing to the human spirit because if we're in ourselves if we feel like angaga well however putting in broad daylight the ghettos the deeds of mudimu in your life halibo no you are foreshadowing that which is eventually going to happen halibo no you are foreshadowing essentially that which god must necessarily do with ugly deeds your ugly deeds are like a stench up the nostril your ugly deeds are like consulting a sangoma but not telling everybody while good deeds are like going to all night prayer and then telling the whole office right the lord will shout on the rooftop the glory of saints for they have lived their lives in service of him however nina uzon lasela in the outer darkness and where there will be there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth for all of eternity and the smoke of your torment will rise up forever lilo patwa forever lilo laswa forever lilo bewa in a dark place forever because le ratin and in that place according to god it smells like sulfur it's fire it's brimstone linda oyakona inuga lemi nugo that you kept on consulting so umu god uzon bega la mintanda oyakona in the darkness anish nili patile li khur meritzeka ditsila li khur meritzeka so God is going to put you in la saruri kuya kuile and a happy happy only in sec like a minko esa zamaying nto kira batu bari bako okhalting kira ta kore kiri contestant tsa ko fear factor why because bara ta ko jadi nto njeza tsosa eh le no amadi le jaba atu le di cannibals top of that le jadi nto tsa pechwang tse body leng in a satanic ritual so you're gonna go to a place where you're always seeing nto vele vele tsenyontsang ko tenyi kungo tsukolentsung namrena jeso 